Okay, so my topic for today is about backup and restore. Of course, using my SQL. Introduction to MySQL dump tool. So the MySQL dump tool will be the tool that we'll be using for creating backup. And this is the file or this is the, the application that is provided by MySQL to create MySQL or dump dump files. So the MySQL dump tool allows you to make a backup of one or more databases by generating a text file that contains SQL statements which can recreate the database or the databases from scratch. The MySQL dump tool is located in the root bin directory of the MySQL installation directory. To access the MySQL dump tool, you navigate to the root bin folder and use the MySQL dump command within the following options. If you're using XAMP, MySQL dump command is located at so where the drive is uh, where you, the drive where you install XAMP and then under the MySQL folder and then the bin or binary folder. And here are some of the common MySQL dump options. First is the add drop table. So it includes a drop table statement for each table in the database. So it's Yeah, that's it. So in the script that it will be done by the dump, it will include the drop table before it creates or recreates a table. Add locks include lock tables and unlock tables statements before and after each insert statement. And this is uh, this one improves the data restoration speed from the dump file. Because of course, if you lock the table, then there will be no other user that can be able to insert so when restoring or or when we are uh, when we are if we restore the dump file later then it will be uh, the the performance of restoration will be improved then we also have the all databases option so this will create a dump of all databases on the mysql server we then we have the create options so this will this will include engine and car set options in the create table statement for each table databases so creates a dump of one or more databases so if you want to specify uh, what are the databases that will be backed up then you use the databases option disable keys Instruct MySQL to disable index updates during data load for my, I, my ISAM table. MySQL will create indexes after the MySQL dump completes loading data. And this, will, uh, this option improves the speed of restoration. And that is because if we don't do this, uh, every time we insert a record, it, is, it will always update the index and of course that will affect the performance extended insert combine single row insert statements into a single statement that insert multiple table rows this option also sp helps speed up data restoration so instead of we have one uh, insert statement per record maybe we have only one single insert statement but that will include all of the data Flash logs flashes the server logs before dumping the data. Again, this is useful in conjunction with the incremental backups. Lock tables ensure that the dump is a consistent snapshot by locking all the tables in a database during the dump. So that means that during the dump, nobody can uh, maybe insert or delete records from the table. No data creates a dump file that contains statements necessary for recreating database structure only. So only create database, create table, not the data. So there will be no insert statements. So this is uh, especially useful, uh, let's say for developers 
and so you have your database but it's only a test database then once you want the database to be in production all you have to do is to copy only the structure of the database to the production database so there's no need for us to insert the records because again uh, maybe if you're a de developer the, tr the trial database contains uh, not the actual data so these are just test data Op the MySQL tool uses the op by default the op option enables the following options add drop table, add locks create options, disable keys extended insert lock tables quick and set car set to disable this option use the skip op if you want to skip individual options you use skip das and then the option name for example to skip the disable keys option you use skip das disable keys option so we also have the quick the instruct my sql dump to not buffer tables in memory before writing to file this option speeds up dumps from big tables We also have the result file, specifies the path of the output dump file. Set car set, specifies the character set such as Latin 1 or UTF-8 of the database. Tables create a dump of one or more tables. You can specify also the table that you want to backup. Where dumps only rows which satisfies a condition in the workloads. So here's an example. So using the MySQL dump tool to make a backup of a single database. So the command will be, so MySQL dump, then we have the option user equals the username, then double, so the same is, uh, we have double hyphen password equals and then the password, double hyphen result file equals, then here's the path of the backup file, and then double, hyphen databases and then the name of the database so again in the syntax the username is the user account that we log into the mysql server and of course usually that's the admin or, or maybe the owner of the database or somebody who has the privilege of the database the password is a password of for the username and the path to backup files is the path to the backup file the databases option is an option that instructs the MySQL dump tool to create a dump of the specified database. And the database name is the name of the database that you want to backup. So in this example, so let's say you create a backup for the database classic models and the dump file is at C backup classic models that SQL. So how do we do this? So MySQL dump, that's a command, and then user equals root, then password equals, for example, that's a password, result file equals, so that's the result file, and then databases, classic models. So that's how we create a dump file. Later on, I'll be showing you a live demo of this, but let's proceed to the next example. Using the MySQL dump tool to make a backup of multiple databases so in the previous example we only made a backup of a single database so to make a backup of multiple databases you specify a list of the database names after the data so the database option so we have here mysql dump then user equals root password equals the password result equals result and then databases we have here classic models and word so we have here now a backup of two databases using the mysql dump tool to make a backup of all databases so to make a backup of all databases in the mysql server you use the all database option so example mysql dump user equals root password equals super pass one result file equals backup all database that sql then the option all databases so that will back up all of the database 
using the MySQL dump tool to make a backup of specific uh, tables from a database. To make a backup of specific tables from a database, you use the following command. So MySQL dump, user, username, password, password, result file, then database name, followed by the table name. So database name, table name. So example, MySQL dump, user equals root, password equals the password there here, result file equals C backup employees, and then this is the name of the database, followed by the name of the table. And you notice a place here, uh, ellipses here, because we can have here several tables. Let's say for example, this is the name of the database, and then you have three tables, let's say employees, and then maybe one is department, and maybe one is uh, attendance, for example. So you can just specify the names of the tables here after the name of the database. <laughs> Using a MySQL dump tool to make a backup of database structure only. So to make a backup of the database structure only, you use the no data option. Again, uh, usually this is especially if you want to copy the structure of a test database to the production database. So MySQL dump user, password, result file, and then this is the option, no data. Then database, the name of the database. So example, MySQL user root, password, result file, and then uh, here is the result file, no data, and then databases, the name of the database. So again, this is the option that we should specify. Using the MySQL dump tool to make a backup of data only. To make a backup of the database data only, use the no create info option. So MySQL dump, user equals username, password equals password, result file equals no create info database, database then database name. So this statement will generate a dump file that contains the SQL statements, insert to lock tables and insert data. So it only contains insert data, but the create table statements are not included. So MySQL dump, user equals root, password equals a password, result file, and then no create info, and then database, the name of the database. Now we can also create backups using phpMyAdmin. So if you're using phpMyAdmin, you can create a backup, oh, but I'm sorry for this one. Uh, it, the image covered part of the text so but the first step is to open the xamp control panel then click the admin button in your browser or in your browser rather so let's say this is open in your browser you can just type localhost then usually a a an index page will appear and one of the options there is to open php my admin but in this example, I'll be using the control panel. So just click admin, then that's it. The, the PHP my admin will now appear on your screen or will be launched by this button. So once it is launched, you'll notice that on the left side, we have the name of the databases. So the second step is to select the database you want to back up. So just click on the database that you want to back up. And then the next step, step number three, is to click the export tab. So after you select the database, so for example, in this case, we selected the DB sales database. So just click on export tab. And then for quick backups, just click on go then that's it the, the the dump file will be downloaded using the browser from the browser so there will be times that we're in we have to restore from dump files let's say for example we would like to rebuild database then we have to restore the dump files so restoring a sql dump file using the source command uh, so uh, that's a command we're going to use the source command then to restore from a dump file follow these steps and examples so step one is you have to connect to the mysql server 
So example, MySQL does u root does p, then maybe your password. Then step two, so use the source command to restore the dump file. So source cdb backup.sql. So this is in the assumption that this backup contains also the create statement for the database. So the assumption here is that the backup contains the create database command. If not, you should first create the database, then use the database, and then issue the source command. And so that's how we restore data.